I use this to make this on a Weber kettle in a hurricane. Howdy everybody, welcome back to Alphamer Barbecue. I use this roasted beef bitter than bouillon to make the best brisket I've ever made on a Weber kettle. Now there's a lot of good Weber brisket videos on YouTube, but they all seem to have the same problem, uneven color. I think I've solved this with this beef bouillon. I used this as a binder and it gave an amazing color and a great flavor. Let me show you how I did it. This is basically a concentrated beef paste. We'll spoon a couple spoonfuls in a bowl, thin it with a couple of tablespoons of water. Get it to about the consistency of mustard. Just like that. Now I'll go ahead and rub this on just like I would a regular binder. Now this has a lot of salt, so I will not be adding any other salt. If you'll be using a commercial made rub or your rub has salt, there is a low sodium reduced sodium version. But since this is the regular salt version, this will be the only salt I'll be adding to this brisket and I'll just be using some coarse ground black pepper. And once that's rubbed in on both sides, I'll be going on with some 16 mesh black pepper. Now I'll just make sure I get a good even layer on the fat cap, make sure I get it on the sides. I won't be adding any pepper to the bottom. The Weber is a top-down cooker. It doesn't really cook well on the bottom. You just end up with some wet, soggy pepper. So I'll just be adding it to the top and sides. And one last sprinkle on top to even it out. Look at that great color. And it hasn't even gone on the smoker yet. I'll be cooking this today on the Weber kettle offset using the slow and sear. And I'll be using this Kingsford low and slow briquettes. I'll be adding one charcoal starter at one end and let it burn to the other end. This should take about four to six hours for it to burn all the way from one side to the other. Go ahead and add some water to this reservoir trough for some extra moisture. And we'll clean these grates using a piece of aluminum foil. Go ahead and add this brisket and then one small piece of post oak right over the coals. As it burns, it'll give some nice smoke. I'll set these vents to halfway closed on the bottom and halfway on top. And let's hope it doesn't rain. Showing strong convection. Pretty soon here it will start to develop an eye. I think later on today it jumps up to a category one hurricane. 65 miles an hour, so that's an update. It's jumped up in five. And here we are after five hours. We're in between rain bands. So let's come out here, take a look at this brisket. Already has a nice color. That bark is setting nicely, 177 degrees internal. A couple more hours to go. And here we are after eight hours. Bark is still looking nice. I did add a little piece of aluminum foil. It's getting a little dark on the side closest to the fire. Getting a nice color. Did add a few extra charcoal briquettes. This is the first time I've added charcoal. This Kingsford really does burn low and slow. Fat cap is feeling nice. I'll bring you back when it's ready to wrap. And here it is after 10 hours total cook time. Probing nice and tender. Temp it here in the flat. About 198, 199 degrees. I'll go ahead and wrap this Goldie's barbecue style. Put about a cup of melted beef tallow down on the foil. And we'll just put the brisket right on top, wrap this foil around it nice and tight. Now 
Now, if you've watched my other brisket videos, you know I like to rest my briskets in a turkey roaster. I'll go ahead and add it to this turkey roaster, set it 150 degrees overnight, and we'll hope we don't lose power. A new set of weather conditions arrived during the night. Water in excess of 10 inches across most of our city, approaching 90 miles per hour winds, hurricane conditions. Is anyone that can hear my voice? Shelter in place. Shelter in place. We're in an emergency. We have over 2 million in our region without power. Well, here we are the next morning. Power just went out about an hour ago. This brisket is still hot. Let's go ahead and take it out, slice it up before it has time to cool down anymore. Nice looking color, nice even color. Look at that bark. Go ahead and add this beef tallow on top. That's a beautiful looking brisket. Let's slice it and see how we did. Still super juicy. Let's get a slice off of this flat end. Nice smoke ring, good tenderness. Fat cap, rendered really well. Let's get a slice of this point end. Also super moist. That's a good looking brisket. This fat inside is rendered nicely. Fat cap on top looks good. Let's get a taste. That's really good. Using that concentrated beef bouillon, this brisket is nearly as good as any brisket I've made on my offset. Well, that's how I make brisket on the Weber kettle. Hopefully the power comes back on soon. Hopefully everyone's safe out there. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.